guys feel about the horror-ish? So think like the slasher games, like the Friday the 13th, where you're like trying to survive in, in this world um, until you're rescued or escape or whatever that looks like. Or in turn, you can be the, uh, yeah, the, killer. the killer. Yeah, or games like Evolve were kind of like that as well. How, how do you feel about those types of games? I don't know. For I me, see- like I find those games are fun for two to three rounds. And then you sort of, it sort of wears off because it does get a bit repetitive. Mm-hmm. But it also really depends who you're playing with. If you're playing that with like a good group of friends online, it's a lot of fun because you know you're kind of trolling around and, and having fun that way. If you're playing with like a bunch of randoms and it starts to turn into a more frustrating experience, maybe because your teammate's doing something really stupid or sabotaging the game, if for some reason you know they're one of those people, or maybe you know. You're the killer you're up against really sucks at the game and it's just too easy, then it becomes less fun and I find a bit more of a slog. So, I don't know, small doses for me on those games. Okay. Steven, how about you? Like, if you're going to play one, which one would you rather be? Like, the, the killer or the the camper that's trying to, like, hide? I guess the killer. I don't know. I haven't found an asynchronous, and I don't guess it's not... Te- or asymmetrical, I, and I guess it technically wasn't because you get, you played both parts that I've liked since Left 4 Dead. Um, that had the perfect versus mode mm-hmm. where you play as the infected, the other team plays as the survivors, and then you switch and do the same level as the opposite thing, and the loser gets to play the infected first so that they're more prepared for um, like the level because they can see what's coming and, and plan. That game was amazing. Um, I wish... I, I I still haven't matched the the amount of fun and hours I put in. It's my favorite experience yeah. ever in gaming, and it might be up there in just favorite thing to ever have done in my life. Like mm-hmm. those were some f- super fun years playing that game with the group I people I played with. So I, um, yeah, I remember I played Friday the Thirteenth, and I played a few times. Um, and like as the camper. I would go and just try to hide. I wouldn't even try to like run away and sneak around. I would just go hide. So I'd go find like a, a closet and hide. And if you hold your breath, like Jason can't detect you on the, on the meter. And so there was like a couple of times where he was actually in the room I was in and you're like holding your breath and you're like freaking out. It's actually a little <laughs> tense, right? And you know, it's a sure. video game, but it's tense as hell. And you, you know, he leaves and then he comes back again and he's like right outside the cabinet. And I'm like holding the breath, holding the breath, holding the breath, go away, go away, go away. And all of a sudden, like the, the huge machete like comes through the thing into me. And I'm like, oh, that sucks. But uh, yeah, I was, I know you're talking people. about though. Yeah. So there's a new game that brings that, that element. Uh, Texas the, Chainsaw. The, the Texas Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre nice, for horror yeah. fans out there. Have you guys ever seen any of the films? Either the old ones or like yep. that remake from I don't know, 15 years ago. I saw the old ones and I saw the one that came out in like the early 2000s, was it? It would have been like I saw the prequel one. 2009. No, there was one before that. Was hold there? on, now I'm going to okay. look it up. Yeah, hold on. I watched it as a teenager, so. Okay. So, I'll look it up. Keep going. Yeah, so there's, uh, you know, the cool thing about this game is that it stays pretty true to the films in a lot of, in a lot of ways. So, 2003. Okay, and there have been reboots of the franchise a few different times and and continuations, but this game, you know, has its place in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre sort of, um, you know, continuation and, and lore. Um, it is a, a game that sets, you know, it has a few different areas to it where you're either playing as one of the, quote, like, survivors or you're playing as part of the family um, with Leatherface and, and trying to hunt people down. Um, the game takes place a lot of the time in the daytime. So that's something different from what we've seen in a lot of horror games, right? That are set at night, it's yep. dark. So it takes place in the daytime, which I think is a nice, you know, turn. Anyway, the play test for the game was this past weekend. And, you know, we got a chance to get hands on it. Um, there's a review up on the website right now. or not really a review review, but like, you know, just experiences from it um and general thoughts so check that out strangeawesomegames.com there is one there but just a few thoughts so guys when you play games like this do you like like a really big map or do you like something that's a little more you know confined where you're gonna get you know some action or do you want huge like what's the right mix there 
I think I like a map that's a bit more, I wouldn't say like absolutely massive, but not claustrophobic. It's got to be, I don't know, medium big, I guess, because I like the idea of being able to sort of sneak around and try to do whatever the different objectives are. Mm -hmm. I don't want the killer just to be on me immediately and it's more like me running the whole time. Yeah. I want to have some control. Because once they detect you, I mean, in most cases, they have a huge advantage over you and are oh, going to sure. kill you. Yep. Stephen, how about you? Yeah, right. I would say medium big as well. When I watch something like, uh, what? Is, oh, what was the? Oh my god, the the best game in the genre. Dying uh, by daylight. People, is it? Dead by daylight. Yeah. Yes. Dead by daylight. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. That medium sized map. Yeah, I think yep. so. So that that's probably my one knock to this. Like early on, is just some of the maps are big, like really big. And it's a little too big, too, yeah. Yeah, it's probably a little too spacious yeah. and spread out. And there's plenty of time. I mean, it's a play test for a reason, right? So a lot of these things, you know, they'll take the feedback and work on it. But I think I what I look for with horror, because I'm a horror fan and I love the genre. I love reading horror books. I love watching horror films, all of it. This captures the essence of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And that's the most important thing to me. So, like, first and foremost, that's what I want. It has that. It has that feel. It has the tension. It has just all those things. But it's not just a straightforward, like, run away from Leatherface type of game. You're actually engaged doing different things to get different, like, power-ups, advantages, things like that throughout um, the session to try to survive. And I think that's really cool. So... Yeah. There are there are different things you can do. It adds a lot of stuff. If you didn't get a chance to check out the playtest... I encourage, a, again, take a look at the article on our site, learn a little bit about the game, strangelyawesomegames.com, and, um, you know, take a look at some of the info about the game as it heads up to release. I think it's coming out full release in August, so check that out. Take a look. Um, August, just in time to head into the fall season, you know, spooky season, as the kids say, Eric. Um, yeah. <laughs> Because maybe we'll get our hands on it this fall when it gets a full release and we'll do like a let's play. All of us. Steven, you too. And. Nope, sorry. It's can't. Set in the daytime. My There's Xbox no spiders. Bricked. I like horror games, dude. Neither does Eric. I'll try it. <laughs> I'll, try it. I'll try it. Yeah, see, he's going to try it. He's not going to be, you know. Is this will this be like Blair Witch where I play for five minutes and then uninstall? That the game? was the best, man. When you fired up Blair Witch and saw the little stick figure things and the hanging, you're like, nope, done. And just immediate. Stopped. He was streaming too, and he's just like, nope, we're done. And like uninstall the game on the stream. So <laughs> that's yeah, right. Good times. So anyway, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, uh, the play test, like I said, this past weekend, it was a it was a great day to spend Memorial Day week or a great way to spend Memorial Day weekend. Uh, check out the article again, straightsawesomegames.com, and check out more information about the game as it heads towards release later this year. 